Hey guys, let's take a look at these three old school common single plane intakes that would have been used for the uh, legendary 4V Cleveland large port head of the time. And what we see here is Edelbrock Talker, Holly Strip Dominator, and the Wien Accelerator. Let's start off with the Holly Strip Dominator intake. The Strip Dominator intake, you can see here is um, obviously an air gapped. Uh, single plane manifold with its unique um, carb and plenum opening there apparently to suit the motorcraft 4300d carburetor along with hollies and dominators and what have you to suit an as is open large port 4v cleveland head it does have some height to it also which is very important in making power and almost has that victor junior style of a of approach Again, it's to suit a number of carburetors, um, you know, including obviously the Hollies and the Holly Dominators with appropriate um, uh, adapters. And you can see here there's a Dominator with an adapter on a Holly Strip intake right there. Um, you know, someone running up on the dyno. Okay, let's run through with some obvious things I can see here. Some goods and bads of this intake. You can see here has a large plenum opening compared to the others with upright um, port entries with adequate, I'd say, um, cross-sectional area for the entry right there. But the outer runners themselves suffer from a bit of a hard turn towards the port entry. They can hurt flow and carburetor fuel air atomization also. Otherwise, a pretty badass 4V large port intake, I'd say. Okay, next is the Y-end accelerator. Uh, single plane intake you can see here for the 4V large port Cleveland uh, head and you can see here it's much shallower lower in its design and with the base all cast in one piece so definitely will have a bit more um, heat soak over its air gapped uh, unit and also you can you know take note of what you can see there as far as the runners um, you know towards the port inch they have a very sharp aggressive um, turn as you can see there it's almost you know a, a right angle turn to be honest and that'll definitely hurt uh, flow and fuel air atomization you can see there also on the other side the hard and sharp turn that it has before the port entry and you know large board heads just don't like that it sort of hurts um you know flow and uh, velocity there it's to suit a holly 4150 uh, car pad there and also has a very tight um plenum chamber there but with a raised floor with that kink divider that you see there to help promote a bit of um, airspeed and uh, velocity. Okay, now moving on to the Edelbrock Talker um, single plane to suit a 4V large port head that I actually ran myself back in the days on my own badass naturally aspirated Cleveland. Again, being cast all in one piece, not an air gap style of intake. Personally, I would rate this to be one of the better single planed uh, intake designs for the 4V large port heads just based off its runner design and its, you know, plenum and cross-sectional uh, port entries you see there um, just over the, over the other lot. Um, with the plenum being a little tighter and all the uh, port runners being a little closer and longer than the strip dominator, it'll just promote a little bit more torque in that aspect, which a 4V Cleveland open style head needs and without compromising its actual cross-sectional port entry area. You can see that it's got a more of a straight shot in the outer runners with just a smooth gradual radius, not like the others where you had that sharp um, hard turn before he met the uh, head entry port. There's a tighter plenum area as you can see there with um, the port entries being more of a smooth and rounded entry. Orca has decent height in the manifold itself very similar to the strip dominator intake and taller than the y and accelerator single plane. Again you can see the uh, plenum a little tighter here and with them um, radius and rounded upright port entries, thus um, keeping the cross-sectional area decent enough with a decent taper towards the head entry. You can scallop out the torker intake if you wanted to, you know, and turn it into that air gap style of intake and, you know, obviously run a valley pan in doing so. 
but yeah, you, you can see it there. It gives it more justice in appearance. And, you know, again, compare it to the Strip Dominator. It just gives it that Victor Jr. style vibe again. So there you go, you guys. A bit of an insight on the cons and pros of the top three single plane 4V intakes to suit the large port 4V Cleveland heads of the day. And, you know, if you ask me, I'll give an even score, um of the strip dominator and the talker intake and uh, the wine accelerator being last. <laughs>